Our beautiful is a rough colony on the edge of human-controlled space, a retirement home for Soul Force veterans from all branches of service. But peace is not their fate. A deadly plague breaks out, ravaging few established cities of our Buddha Five and turning its population into twisted, horrible ghouls. Kind of like Alucard's servants. There is no cure in human science. The last desperate hope is a rumor of an ancient facility built by the Suka and hidden high in the savage fields through mountains. If the pit is there, and if you can survive exploring it, you might find the source of this plague. Though it came from orbit, and the chance of finding a cure. Maybe it's real, maybe it's just another tall tale on the rim of known space. You can't be sure of anything. Apart from that. Except from the fact that every expedition into the mountains has failed to return. And nothing creates death better than the Sulka. Not even the Zool! But the lore of quite good. Anyway, yeah, if you give me a little second, I'll be clicking on the screen at some point to get the flash, the flash, the splash screen up. I'm kind of re-recording this because I had the mic on mute. Anyway, whenever you're ready past Space Monkey, just click the screen, come on, ah, there you go, good monkey. Hello and welcome to Let's Play Sword of the Stars, The Pit. Um, where's my menu? First off, I think I'll try and make sure the volume's right, so if you give me a little second, I shall be back. Huzzah, I found my menu. Um, hello and welcome to Let's Play Sword of the Stars, The Pit. I shall run this in tandem with um, Sword of the Stars 2, the End of Flesh lore campaign. But, um, yeah. First off, I'd like to thank Apirine because he's basically the one that managed to make this one possible. So, visit his channel. Sorry, I'm just turning on full screen, which has probably stopped the recording. Well, that was very silly of me, but never mind. Why did I turn full screen on? I don't even know. Right, that's why, because most of my screen didn't even appear. Hmm. So I tried to do, um, what do you call it, windowed, but still some it's not appearing, so I'll have to be back in a second, so give me a minute. There we go, that seems to be fine. Right, anyway, yeah. Um, thank you to appearing, so, yeah. We get to explore the Sots universe in another manner. Instead of having to explore it through um, the means of ships, we now can explore it through... Wandering around as a crippled old veteran. <laughs> yes, we're now a cripple. Anyway, um, I'll play the tutorial, yeah, but let's have a look at it. Move it or lose it, ape. Okay, spray speed. <laughs> Press G to pick up items and stick it in your backpack. Press I to view in your infantry. If you ever need to lighten your loads. If you ever need to lighten your load, basically you can drop stuff with G. That door on the other side of the room is locked. Try using that key card you picked up to open it. I'm surprised he didn't say princess. Try and lose that card. You just found to open it, princess. Oh well. Sh shoot. All right, you just walk into it. You don't actually need to use it as an item. Okay, press space to open it. Yeah. We're gonna fail. Oh no, we got it. Okay. Um, let's 
first equip that weapon instead of just thing we fit some body armor on as well. Oh, uh, somehow. So it's not just the drag and drop. Hmm. I'm sure it's about to tell me how to use it and I can't do it until it tells me. Not in my luck anyway. Maybe right click? Ah, right, okay. Equipping armor. Um, anything else? We've got lockpick sets, we've got punch. <laughs> we've got a medium punch! Yes! That's the most effective weapon ever. This will probably just be the tutorial mission. Sounded like he was drunk to start with. We go now. Okay. Space. We're gonna make a sandwich. We're gonna make a sandwich, aren't we? We're gonna make a sandwich here. Salt sandwich. Now that's what we call a good old fashioned salt switch. That's good enough. <laughs> salt switch. Field, you can find all kinds of machines that make all that's kinds actually of pretty neat. Stuff. Weapons, gizmos, food, you name it. So, what we can cook stuff? Oh no, all different kinds of machines that cook make different stuff. Many recipes can be found by decoding messages from the data con consoles. We did not feed you before you started this exercise, Ape. Look over on the left side of your You talking down here? The blue display tells you how hungry you are. So we're not very hungry. Or is it the higher it is? Yeah, let's eat and experiment with that. Ah oh, no, no no, we were Fine, we weren't that hungry. So let's try a little combat training. We've got some nice harmless target dummies over there against mm, the yeah. wall. We see them. Put on your war face and show me your best melee attack. Okay, so F to fire at the nearest target using arrow keys to select a specific target. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that. There we are. All right, Abe. You smacked that dummy good. <laughs> now I want to see a range. Smack that. Those other target dummy. Okay, sure. Wow, you're a bad shot, aren't you? Shooting, Abe. That is one target dummy that will never threaten the galaxy again. Wow, sounds like sarcasm. It's time to play with some of the fancier toys. Ooh. Ooh. I like the sound of that. Grenade. Take a grenade and throw it over there at that grenade get thrown to any location. Oh sorry, I skipped that because I read it already. Yes, I know. Give me a second. So the best place for that would be there. Then go to then. Ah, yeah. There we go. Oh, an assault rifle. Now switch to your assault rifle, Ape. Let's try some real rock and rolling. Oh, we're going to be dancing there. You can put all three shots into the same target, or pick three different targets. That's some good firepower right there. Careful though, hmm. that gun burns ammo quick. 
So basically it's a quick weapon you can fire at, at multiple targets and basically it's a crowd control but you will waste weaponry. Weaponry? You will waste um, ammunition in all probability. But I don't think it's universal ammunition, so it's better to use the ammunition instead of just not using it. Oh crap, um, is it enter? Space? Uh, shift? Tab? No, tab changes weapon. No, oh, it's F isn't it? No. Oh dear, I got it only a couple of seconds ago and I can't remember. <laughs> oh dear. Competence level is reaching a um, critical though. Yeah. Give me a second. Right, I see what I did wrong. I didn't actually read what it said. It said yes, like that. Okay. So basically you can't fire at the same target also. Like, a target... Like, if I'm shooting for that one, I can't shoot for that one as well because of where I'm standing. So you have to keep that into consideration, apparently. So. Control and F. Touchdown. You have travelled the distance of a football field. It sounds impressive. Eh. Yeah. We have a lot further to travel, though. Alright, switch to the shotgun and take a shot at that cluster of targets. Hmm, okay. Sounds like an idea if I come down here, and then probably shoot at that one. So. Sorry about that, people are falling around in the house, it seems. Um, thry. So if we shoot at this... Nice. For taking out a cluster of weaker targets, you do not want to be nibbled to death by baby Zool Space <laughs> Oh, he said my name. <laughs> yes, thank you. That's just what I needed. Thank you. Space Marine saying my name. Who? <laughs> okay, hit range. Pop. You've got a locked door. You can't open it with a key card, so you're gonna have mm, Okay, to so we'll, we'll pick lock then. 98% chance we've opened that. Well, looky there. More toys for you. Okay, is this an alien weapon? Let's have a look. What does that look like? That look. Hmm. I don't know. It looks like an egg. Interesting. I wonder if it's Sulka origin. This here is a biomod. Our buddies from the ah. mines cooked these up. These pill-shaped ones are for weapons. Once you break the seal, you can attach these to your gear. They're all run out. I'm assuming. Okay. Open your inventory, right click the bio mod and uh, select add, in this case, your rifle. So we'll put our rifle there. Get rid of the combat knife for now. That's it. Yeah. Thing grenades there then. Right click this. Um, add to assault rifle. Improve the accuracy by 10%. Mm, nice. That's useful. This biomod is a good one. It makes your gun more accurate. But biomods don't always do nice things. Sometimes Leotech will bite you on the tail. Hard. Hmm. Interesting. Biomods do random stuff. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. So wild cards in effect. Hmm. Um. 
because they even make mutagen juice that you can drink. They don't always write the labels in the monkey speak though. All you'll get is a coloured code and that's random. Oh, okay, so basically you can, um, from game to game, you cannot just have one set of colour codes up. I think I'm going to make a word pad for this then. If we're going to have colour coding. When we get into the main game, that is. Mm, okay, sure. Sounds good. So... Ah... Uh, fuck. Ah, uh, uh. uh, we've not got rifle rounds. Oversight. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's use a pistol. Guess we know. <gasps> Ow! Right, I didn't see that guy. Hi! You're getting all up in my grill. For lack of a better way of putting it. Ow. Ah, damage my shotgun now. Yeah, I know it's a pillar. I thought you could get a little square closer, and I know I've got another one to kill. There we go. Vade Victus. I'm liking this guy now just because he's saying my name. <laughs> Good work there, Space Monkey! Yeah, we're nowhere near damage, but hey. Oh, okay. Now just go like that and then use. Okay. And they stack! Because we got another four. In that case, I think um, just resting would have been fine. Wow, what's this? Alright, we can't figure it out, it seems. Ow. You just found out how door trap works. Aliens really like door traps. Ow. Attention to the color of the traps. Different colors do different things, and you want to hmm. remember the color of the bad things. Sometimes they even do good things. But no, not this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just having some mango and light GT. Nice. Thirteen percent chance, but it's gonna be a hundred percent automatically. I'm assuming. Yeah. Looks like you have been enemy. Oh no. Ooh. This? That is your sorts dex. No. Oh. So it's like the sortspedia. He's your little digital buddy. He'll keep track of all your kills, weapons, items, and any decoded Ooh. messages or recipes that you happen to figure out. Click on it and have a look. Okay, sure. Sounds like a good idea. I'm not so sure what to think about this, but hey. Also, quite liking the kind of 8 um, bit. No, not 8 bit, it's more like 16. No. Meh. I think it's 8 bit MIDI, roughly. No, it's more than that, it's about 16 bit, I believe. Anyway, I'm liking that. Um, song. 
so no available messages. Sort sandwich recipe. What's this say about the sort sandwich? Sort switch. Eh, not much. Weapons pistol. Pistol. Okay. Pistol. <laughs> less accurate, but more damage. Oh no, it's less damage. Hmm. Mm, okay. I'm assuming the auto pistol is a lot faster. Fully automatic and accurate. It lacks slightly in hitting power though. Popular hunting shotgun, very effective at close range. Soul Force standard combat sh grenade. Designed to inflict maximum damage through high penetration shrapnel over a large area, devastating to low armor targets. A powerful explosive designed to deliver a heavy damage at close range. Knife. Used for stabbing. Stab, stab, kill. Blade. Used for more effective stabbing and killing. Yay! Hmm, yes. Oh, okay. Basic, um, rogue. All right, you know. Space monkey, I've told you everything <laughs> I can. You're looking good. Walk tall. Read the Zovos manual. Then head on out there and do us proud. Thank you, and I'll see you in the field. Where's this thing, though? Ah, right, okay, floor exit. Tutorial complete. Start a new game. Test your skills. Ricky Recur- Hmm. Anyway, I think we'll leave it here, in case people want to skip the first episode, you know, I'll put something at the start of the episode, but yes, I suggest you go and have a look at Appearing, and I thank you profusely. Profusely. Ooh. Ah, words. Anyway, until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.